<clears throat> hey guys, welcome to today's video. So we are going to play with the new Danessa Myrex Lightning or Volume 6 palette. The Freedom palette I own. This will be my third of the Lightning palettes that I own. I got two previous ones. I always buy. I got the, the other two one. This one's a little more chunkier. I double check and everything is okay when I picked it up. Opened it up. Was, it came like bubble wrap like so many times. This I'm not even joking. So yeah, so the thing is, I paid a little bit more on this palette than I did the previous years on it. <laughs> I mean, we can find a way to find out how it's So it comes really well bug wrap. Sorry, I'm missing some on the back of the uh, so It came with three or four things of bubble wrap. Especially when you order it online, it's going to come bubble wrap to death. So it comes with a little traveling pouch. And this is what it looks like. I mean, like, I give Danessa herself a lot of credit for making sure you, know, you travel with it when you get shipped to you, it is really um, safe and a lot of stuff comes together and all that jazz. She got some lots of bubble wrap because it was bubble wrap twice when I ordered from Sephora and then it bubble wrapped again on the, on the inside. All that jazz. So this is the mirror here. So like if you want to travel it with each color on my jazz, let's do that. There's that part here. Okay. This is what it looks like. And I'm gonna be heading to work. I don't know what color I'm gonna be playing with. Might be playing with the pinks or the purples on this third one over here. Maybe. Okay, so. comes a mirror so like with this particular palette still trying to let the damage the shadows here so it's magnetic the whole thing comes together magnetically so like it just stacked together like this like this and you can travel like this just like that and then you just slide it in to this little pouch here. And then you're gonna take your lightning work palette to go. And then you just have this starting at home when you go traveling. So it's a little bit more travelers friendly version of her lightning work palettes, all that good stuff. <clears throat> I got this one right here, the Lightning Works 5. And then the Lightning Works 4. So this one is that one. And then you got these two here that are kind of like the. If they could. They're like the, like the solid version of other pots. And these two here are the water. Like you activate the water and then you got a lot of duochromes in this particular palette. Okay. 
this one, and I think this one so far is the one I use the most out of them all. Because I use the middle shades a lot. On this one, like, um, again, these are like the wash. You can use it, you can use it, like, wash face, but like, I don't know if I use this one on the face too much. But like, these ones are a little bit more face friendly. Like, these ones, like, some of these ones up here, you can use for highlighters and all that stuff. I use these shades in here the most, the middle. The greens is not the ones I use too much. Oh, that. So we are not doing these palettes. We're going to be testing out this new one. Like I'm going to show you, it is a lot more, like, it's, I like the way these soar, but I don't know how this one's going to soar because it's like, I feel like it's going to move in this drawer a lot. And then I've got the Vanessa Myricks brown one. Oh, pomade one. But I am then going to use the uh, Naked palette as well. For this one here. And then on the back of each of them, it is going to have a little bit of ingredients on it. Ooh, I didn't even touch that one. It looks like I hit that one. Oh, you have to be really careful when you pull it apart because I am hitting the shadows. Okay. I'm debating between these two, but I'm thinking I'm going to be leaning towards this one because I am going to get ready for work here. So I am going to put Okay, so we are going to prime the eyes or a for public eye primer. The uh, Wet n Wild Mega Last. One of those ones that's like almost at the bottom. Oh, oh, we're done it. So we are going to play with the naked one as well. So I think it's because I, there are a lot softer browns in this palette. I could use her, her um, Danessa Myricks pomade palette, but I hope I'll play with it today. Like I say, I am going to bring myself ready for work, so I'm just trying to keep this more on the neutral side, cleaner look, because uh, I'm going to look for you. I look in public. So. Just doing that light brown there. I'm gonna do apply like all the more colors of this way. So I'm gonna go with this purple here. I just realized I, how am I supposed to know which. I 
the shading to me. They have the shade names but on the back side of it, but like how you're supposed to know shade names after that fact that you move them around. So I wish they put the shade names on the back of it or even on the front of it. So therefore you, when, when you do remove these out of the thing, it's like, okay, how am I supposed to know which one goes by? Like, unless you mark it on the back side here where it's like, These shadows are very soft. Yeah, I always keep a Mac Fix Plus button, a Mac, my brush can nearby, and a towel so they're where I can squeak to clean my brush, especially if they have brown on something on it. I'm going to go under these. One of these shades here in the middle. I think this one right here, I think it's almost a, it deflects a different color. This is pretty shade. I like the finger better. Okay, 
pretty big, simple. Okay, I gotta throw some liner on. I got, I got like five minutes before I have to get out the door here. Watches a lot of stuff later on. Hey guys, welcome back. So I did my full day of work. The blush is still blushing. So we are thus my um, eye makeup, my the few that this palette here. I used most of the pink shades off of it. It is still doing really well it's not leaving me but at the end I give a lot of credit to my wet and wild mega blast this is I highly recommend highly highly recommend this one so far the only one I actually really enjoyed out of the drugstore I like the uh, squeezy top ones a lot better I think this one's pretty much empty so yeah I'm still a little bit in there. I'll be squeezing it up. So yeah, let's do some swatches. I have been I used the pink ones out of here. I can't really have a hard time give you the names of it. So unless I can find it properly on Okay. Okay, Serenity. Okay, let's just do the pink, the pink one, this pink one here. So I'm just gonna go off the this one here. It gives me a better idea what the names are, all that jazz. So yeah. So this color here I'm swatching is more like a topper. That one is Serenity. This one is Dance. This one is Joy. Again, I'm, I'm doing it on the most like fairest part of my body. I apologize. You can see it right there. Again, it's watching really nice. It's just because I'm doing it on my inner arm. So it's pale. So I just swatched Rejoice. And then that is love. And then this dark purple one is the one I've been wearing all day today. Right there is bliss. Okay, this is going to be the deep purple one now. That one is on... No, it looks like it's empowered. Because that's blue. That one is on sound. That one is... 
is. Ephoria. And that one is fluid. I'm not worried about my, my morning arm. I'll be having a shower in the morning. And these other two here, they're more toppers type stuff because they're pasty white. That one is, I want to say free, and this other one is release. I like these like topper style colors. That gold one, I want to say rise. The first one, I want to say was proud. Ooh, this orange one is like wet almost, but it's not wet. so soft. This orangey gold one, it is shade higher. This green one is now is going to be hang on. Gleaming. Two more left. Thread is unapologetic, and the last and not least is the Nirvana. There's a quite a few, like, okay, so there's a few um, duochromes. So I like the ones that kind of shift from like one color to another color because. I got those type of eyes where they do really good with those duochromes because I got really like light bluish, almost grayish looking eyes. I get a lot of compliments on them at work, all that stuff. So I'm probably going to play with the blue ones, this middle one tomorrow, and then maybe the following day after that one, I will be playing with this one. So yeah, this palette I paid. Roughly, uh, so I, in Canadian dollars, I paid $173 in Canadian dollars. But also, keep in mind, it is a travel, it comes with a bulkier one. It is a nicer, um, comparing to the other two ones I have. I have to say it is a a lot nicer looking like oh the palette itself is designed a lot nicer so it's a lot more a lot better nicer looking palette go even like this one I actually dropped a few times and it is magnetic on the inside as well like this is like my fourth the Nessa Meyer palette I own. So it's, the the palette itself is, is like it is highly I do highly recommend it for the price. It is a little bit more like I say even more than I say the her groundwork palettes. Let me go take a look how much it's her. Oh yeah. Yeah. So the groundwork palette is eighty eight dollars. So yeah, this one I do recommend, if you, especially if you like 
full colors like this. There is no mattes, unfortunately, but there is duochromes, which I do really enjoy. But again, if you have this one, you can take this one with your traveling because again, if you're traveling around, you can put this, you pop the ones that you need in Z palette, all that stuff, because th these are all magnetic, all that jazz. I do highly recommend this, um, the Lightning Works 6. Pick it up when you can. It is part of the holiday collection. So yeah, I post two videos twice a week on Wednesdays and Fridays, or Wednesdays, sorry, Wednesdays and Saturdays at 10 a.m. PST. And come on back, I'll be reviewing the uh, Huda Beauty Easy Blur with the Tower 28 powder. Check that next video in. Remember, make sure you, bell, you ring the bell. Make sure you get the notification. Click the comment down below. What um, holiday palettes are you looking for? What holiday collection? We are approaching the holiday collection year soon. But it's a really good sports planner type thing. I am probably going to go through my holiday collection ideas from Sephora. See what collection I am going to be picking up because it is going to be the time around and it's going to be rude season. So, I'll see you next one. Okay. Bye.